Hello, my name is Polina and I'm an MST marketing specialist. Today I will show you how to set up abandoned cart emails in Magento 2. By default, Magento 2 open source doesn't have this functionality and store owners can use the engagement cloud. This is an integration with Dot Digital that requires separate account settings and allows you to set up a limited number of abandoned cart campaigns. To extend default possibilities and retain more customers, we offer the Abandoned Card email extension. Let's see how to create personalized emails, set up campaign rules and analyze the results. Before starting, make sure you have installed the extension and configured the general settings. First of all, we need to create an email template. Navigate to Marketing Communication Email Templates and click the Add New Template button. Load the default template, then specify the name and subject. To customize the content, you can insert variables or find the needed part of code starting with the word layout, where you can do the following. Show products as agreed or as a list in the email. For this, choose a table or list in the mode line. Enable or disable product image. Choose yes or no in the show image line. Show or hide product price in the show price line by setting yes or no. Include or exclude texts from the price, with option Include text and Exclude text in the price format. Show or hide product description in the Show description line by choosing Yes or No. Ready? Save the changes and we will move on to the next step. To set up an email campaign, go to Marketing Abandoned Card Email Campaigns and click the Create New Campaign button. There, you need to specify the rule name, status, priority, and cancel event. Say if any of the products in the cart is out of stock, and abandoned cart email won't be sent. Then click the Stores and Customer Group steps to specify the store view and customer groups to which this rule will apply. Next, move to the Condition tab and configure what condition will trigger the rule, or leave the page blank to send emails all the time. Navigate to Schedule tab and choose the needed email template in the Transaction email field. Specify the delivery time and coupon code details. Click the Expand button to set up advanced configurations. Also, you can use the card tool instead of coupon code. Finally, go to the Analytics tab to set up a Google Analytics parameters and later check the campaign results. Given the settings are saved, you can send a test email. To start sending test emails, you need to enable the testing mode. For this, go to MST, Abandoned Card Email, Configurations, Testing. There, enable Safe mode and enter test email. Save configurations and return to your campaign. Open the test tab, send the test email and check how it looks like in your inbox. After that, you can disable the test mode. Now, let's move to the Analytics setup. Actually, you have two options here. You can track the success of the campaign in the Google Analytics and in the report dashboard of the extension. The model comes with built-in reports that don't require any additional settings and are much easier to understand than Google Analytics reports, especially since customers often have a multi-step path to the purchase. Go to Reports Abandoned Cart Report and choose the website and date range to see the main statistical data about abandoned cart email efficiency and cart abandonment rate. Here you can see the potential revenues that you can get from the cart abandoners, the number of sent emails and how many of them led to the actual purchases. That's all that I wanted to show you today. If you still have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye!